Oh, just the display is darker. What is up, guys? It is Ben in the man cave, and probably my last video that I'm going to record today based on the historical events and first impressions and kind of a glimpse into the world of some old and decrepit racing games. Um, I say old, to be fair, the first one is pretty new. Anyway, two oldies as uh, so we've done Drive Club and gone through that, and we're also now going to go through this one. Formula One 2015. Uh, from memory, this is the first of the games that came out on the PlayStation. And um, from memory, you can see I played it quite a lot, but it was also pretty crap. Um, yeah, not great. Let's go into it. Let's find out why Formula One 2015 was just not very good um so you get the choice you can either go to the world's weirdest looking cars in 2014 or 2015 we're gonna go 14 we're gonna go old school so again headphones on let's jump into the strange the wonderful world of 2015 formula one so why did they throw in 2014 and 15? Well, they kind of made a balls up of the 2014 game and bringing that out, I think, for the last gen. I don't know. Um, also, let me know in the comments, oh, just as I say that, what this looks Welcome. like. And it dies. Oh, we're going to do some post editing in this one, aren't we, friends? Yes, we are. Uh, so apologies. Uh, I will be probably purchasing a... Um, a capture card because I think that made my made my life a lot easier. Um, so this is the game. So you've got championship season. Complete against the Giants of Formula One to become a world champion. No, you know, there's a pro seasons. So you basically take everything off, and you have to do some fully fledged racing. You've got a quick race. You can go multiplayer. You can do time trial. You can change a few settings. You can do some events, which I think they did. Hmm. No career mode. Huh. You, you, all right. If you are watching this video, you probably already know that this game didn't have a career mode. Like, what? Who wants a Formula One game without a career mode? Apparently I did when I purchased this said game. So what we'll do, we'll go into one of the options they at least give you, which is, um, you know, to actually race the game. Um, so I did, I did Suzuka on Gran Turismo. So I think it would be kind of cool to see what, you know, these guys came out with. So 2014, clearly the year that Lewis came back with Mercedes and they have dominated ever since. Um, Ferrari with Kimi and Alonso didn't have the greatest year that year from memory. You got Lotus with uh, Roman Grosjean and the legend Maldonado. Uh, you've got Jensen Button and Kevin Magnussen over at Mercedes, uh, well, McLaren. Um, still sponsored by Mercedes there. Uh, you've got Nico Hülkenberg and Sergio Perez at now Racing Point. Uh, you've got Salba with Sutil and Gutierrez. Uh, you've got uh, Kvyat. Now, Kvyat has actually been in Formula 1 for this long, everybody. This long. Uh, with Vergi, who is now in Formula E. Uh, at Williams, you've got uh, Massa and Bottas. So you can see how close Williams are. They're kind of like form of Williams now right down at the bottom, but the others had a good year. Uh, you've got uh, Jules Bianchi and Chilton, so, you know, Jules. And, um, yeah, you've got Caterham, which had Marcus Ericsson there. Um, so what we'll do, you know, you've probably not noticed, but in my other videos I've also had this T-shirt on. Um, so we've got Daniel Ricciardo. So let's, let's fly some, fly some of those wings. Let's get ourselves, I'm, I'm just going to make it clear, I'm not going to make this any more difficult. So, we're on, we're going to go on expert, I've not played this game for a while. Um, so, let's start the session. Again, if you've not seen the previous videos, if you've not, you know, been on the channel before, thank you for, uh, for coming in. And we're on a PS4 Pro, uh, connected to a 4K monitor. 
if you want to check out my reviews Japan, of those things, you know, there'll be links, be probably. Uh, so, here we go, 2015. Even on the best monitor that you can buy, I think this game's going to have a load of tearing because it was just dreadful. Um, it's so, it's so soft, and but it is also very quiet. Oh, look at look at Bottas! He's got some absolute moves here. And Lewis jumping into 15. Ooh. So one thing I noticed about this game when you compare it to, let's say, 2018, 2019. And I don't know if it's a representation of the cars themselves, but oh my god, are they difficult to handle. There is so much oversteer. It's horrible. It's horrendous. But we've, we've, we've made it work. No, oh, oh, kind of. Oh no. Ooh, god, this is scrappy. Uh, so, one thing that I did actually notice uh, playing this game recently was um, in the PS4 Pro it has that boost mode which comes in pretty handy and uh, I know I'm not actually streaming it at 60 frames a second but it plays at 60 frames a second which oh, oh god I wish you'd not seen that corner everybody that just see understeer then oversteer not good not nice at all um, so this is what a Formula 1 car looked back in 2014. To anyone who doesn't watch Formula 1 that often, it's fairly similar. Now the big thing with these cars compared to cars of uh, cars of now, there's no halo, so you could get hit in the head. Oh, we've got some DRS. Did I use it? I have no idea. I think I did. I actually think I did. I only did one DRS zone around Suzuka. Where did I come? Well, somewhere that clearly the Red Bull team are happy with. So, they're happy. I'm happy. Daniel's happy. That actual, that actual animation is better than well as they did what we get now. Race, Weird. Um, so, one, two shock, the you've got the Mercedes tomorrow. guys up front. I'm third, 0.8 of a second off. You've then got Valtteri Bottas, Massa. As I say, they did have a good year. That car was OG. Uh, you've got Seb Vettel, then you've got the Ferraris, and then kind of, yeah, you know, we, we know what's going on behind us. So, happy days. We're in third. We're on for a podium. Now, I'm going to say the Mercedes are probably going to win this, unless I can get ahead early on. But the, 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 the steering on this game is just... Or, it's not it's not awful. It's just I don't think the cars were very good at the time. Or they were just really difficult to use. And maybe this is a challenge. So who who knows? Fairly basic. It's a, it's a fairly basic Codemasters thing. But can't, oh, can't, can't move here. So this is just a pretty useless screen. Let's start race. Codemasters. So the um, systems on this game also are slightly kind of old school. So you have to kind of go uh, 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 to get your fuel. Must have had a terrible start. Oh, Bottas has had the start he had in 2019. Jesus. There we go. Taking him though. Oh, we've got Rosberg. We've got Rosberg. Happy days. Can we get? Can we get Lewis? But. Again, just such a difficult. Like, oh, done quite well through there. Here we go, everybody. Are we going to get Lewis? We are on rich on the fuel, so maybe I just need to turn that down a little bit. I don't want to. I'll just kind of cut the corner there. Like the, the as I said, oh, look at that. It seems like that rich formula is. Um, Helping us out quite a lot here. Right, we're into first. Was not expecting that. Apparently, Red Bull were because they gave me the target of first, but actually changing back to the fuel. God, that's difficult. I mean, you have to press like four buttons. Like, why can't I just have a constant thing up? I guess that's what they did for 2019. That's what they did for us. So, we're in first. We're in a little bit of a gap. Now, unfortunately, I do find for like, you know, Gameplay. 
it's much better to see someone do loads of cool overtakes, but I should have I should have done a I should have done a last of first and seen what I could have done. But alas, maybe for another day. Let me know in the comments if if you if you're still on board, you're still enjoying Formula One 2015. Let me know if you want to see some more kind of classic old school gameplay. It is actually sometimes quite fun to play some old games because it gives you a nice appreciation for how how far we've actually come. Uh, we did it in I think like our second podcast uh, on the show. We played Burnout and. You know, as fun as we remember that game being, it's quite crazy to see just how far we have actually come. Uh, so here we go. So we've had a nice first sector. Done exactly what I did in qualifying. Just, just completely smashed it off there. Definitely lost a bit of time, but apparently we've got a decent race pace compared to the Mercedes. Here we go. Now that you just. Try and put your foot down, it is quite hilarious. It's just like skid, baby. Another thing I always notice as well on these five lap races, your tyres are dead. By the time that you've you've done your race, you you just haven't got any tyres left. Probably because your power's sliding everywhere. But you can see clearly, you know, me and the rest of the field, we're we're smashing it, absolutely smashing it. I've got, a, I've got a slight lead, um, but everyone else, they're a million miles away. Like, nobody could keep up with those two Mercedes Benz. Anytime you get to a low low speed corner, it's just like, ah. Okay, we, we, we'll chuck it into a rich. No, actually, I'm being stupid, what am I doing? Ah, oh, can't change it. Just don't scrub off much speed, come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. Oh, come on. God, it's just... The cars are just so nervy. I just don't have the grip that the cars have nowadays. No wonder they go like 10 seconds quicker around a track. There's just so much more mechanical grip. These have just got... Hardly anything at all, but not that much slower. Probably the fuel might have helped us there. And I've also got an incredibly itchy nose. Oh god, this is torture. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pause. Oh, 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 what happened there, everybody? Woo! Ah, oh, god. Can you imagine if you actually streamed this stuff? Woo! Ah. God, it totally looks like I just do blow. Uh, oh, God, the itchy nose is back. It's already back, but we're gonna, we're gonna take this corner as hard as we can. Come on, come on, Danny. And we're in fourth gear, 100 miles an hour. This car still wants to kick its backside out. So I think we're maybe quicker through here? A little bit quicker. Half a second quicker. That's much more impressive than I thought. It's quite nice on the brakes here. Pretty aggressive on our way out. Obviously, we're not going to get DRS. Oh no! Oh no! The PlayStation has let us down once more. I think we're about to crash. What's happened here? This could be quite funny. Oh! What do we do? I think we're going back to flashback. Flash back to here, just before my controller and the PlayStation decided to die. We'll do a little bit of editing there. I do love post. I'm hoping everyone else loves post as much as I love post. And I'm not talking about post men. I'm talking about post editing. Um, so, oh, taking that corner, probably the best we've taken it so far. Nice, very nice. Sometimes I'm actually fine through the S's. But it's actually probably best to kind of drop your fuel it gives you the time just to kind of make sure that you, you stick into the racing line which I definitely didn't do towards the end of that. I can imagine we're not going to be far off our quickest time through the... Oh, I am correct. It's actually set the quickest time. So, 
if you've not learned anything from this video, apart from one thing, which is drop your fuel load through the S's, you'll go quicker. Which makes no sense, but it is what happens. There you go, there's your tyre damage. Regardless of however you drive, how soft you drive, how quick you go, you're always going to end up with damage on your blooming tyres because for some reason they thought, well, you've got a five lap race, let's make that last lap just really, really enjoyable. Uh, you know, temperatures are good, but who cares? Who cares? We're going to hopefully win this race. Rosberg is beating Lewis behind us, but they are actually fair, fair way back through the bit seconds. Well done, Danny Rick. The Danny Rick Masterclass, here we go, come on, let's... Oof, Just kept it together there. Our PlayStation didn't die. We're low on fuel. This is the exciting part. Can we get our fuel all the way there? Because this game had a weird tendency that you could just kind of really enrich most of the race, and it was like, all right, yeah, that's cool. So we're going to be quite slow through here because, as mentioned, our tyres are gone. So let's, let's see how much grip we have going through here. Ooh, yeah, I've been pretty naughty there. That would be pretty shocking. But, oh, we're a little bit, we're a tad bit quicker. Oh, we're three tenths up, actually. Oh, dear. Oh, somehow didn't do any damage. Okay, game? Okay. Alright, let's, let's give that another go. You've got five seconds to become behind. Let's try to keep it that way. Five seconds! Oof. Seems like that practice on Gran Turismo earlier sets us up for a victory here. Oh, we're actually at optimal fuel, so I'm going to maybe drop that back down to standard. I don't want to do that weird thing that Codemasters games do, which is kind of like just limp towards the finish line because you've got no fuel left. Oh, apparently we've got plus 11 laps. Okay, thanks game. Thanks for being really consistent and let me know what I've got. Fuel, rich, yes. Here we go, power. Power to the finish line. I don't think we're gonna get the fastest lap, but you never know. No fuel. No tyres. Cut the corners a little bit. Cheeky. Oh, no, we're skidding. We're skidding into the pits. Damn it. <laughs> that was not what I intended to do. Oh, how long to the brakes after that flashback? I'll be a bit more gentle out there. There we go. Much better. Well done, Danny Rick. And with that, the chequered flag. The quickest lap. We did it. We did it, team. You know, it's nowhere near as good as the game is now, but it's really difficult. Like, it's dead difficult to play. So, it, again, do you maybe just have a race on this every other week and kind of go, oh, thank God for 2019? Um, or, you know, if you're a big fan of Nico Rosberg and want to feel like, you know, these were the days. I don't know who you are, but maybe, maybe you are. Um, maybe you just want to relive the the life and times of what Lewis Hamilton and all of his incredible Daniel wins. Um, but yeah, huh. nailed them, didn't I, with a 138.9? Um, I have no idea what the times are now. Maybe I could just put that in here. I don't know. Um, so that is the conclusion of the uh, 2015 Formula One uh, game kind of you know highlight reel of 5, 10, 20 minutes however long that was was it a good game? absolutely not no um, no career mode just unacceptable in the day and age that we live in especially racing games have had career modes since the age of time and the dawn of time and the beginning of all time is it, they've had career modes, but as an actual racing sim, it's not too bad. I, I wouldn't buy it now. Like, I bought it then, but I wouldn't buy it now. And on that absolute bombshell, we'll see you in another video. We might see you on some live streams. I need to work out how to get some actual audio into this game, and at that point, we will then do some live streams. But until then, we'll see you again in the man cave.
Ciao bella!